We've got a really exciting opportunity here which realises an ambition that we've had for quite a long time within the partnership and that's about uh, bringing beaver to Ennerdale. So thinking about natural processes, we're, we're very focused and learning, I think, as a team about the role beaver could have in this landscape. And we can look to other sites, both uh, in the UK and abroad, and, and learn uh, from you know, the, the benefits and challenges too that, that beaver bring. So it's about having those kind of open, honest discussions right from the start. And we've just started to, to do that. So within our team, so we've, we've put a lot of resource into talking to, talking to experts, uh, bringing in help, having a feasibility study done. So the, we know this valley lends itself really well um, to beaver. Getting them here is quite a complex process. There are procedures you've got to follow. We need license application. Uh, we need funding. But fundamentally, we need that buy-in from the local community, wider community, national stakeholders, our own partners as well. Um, so we're, we're kind of on with that and in, and in, the, in the early stages. So uh, United Utilities have had a, an involvement in Wild Ennerdale now for um, about 18 years really and it's taught us a huge amount, a huge amount about how water interacts with the landscape, um, it's, it's informing our catchment management across, across the, uh, the county really um, and, it, and the, I suppose the biggest take home messages for me, the things that have really changed my view of rivers and how they behave has been watching this river, River Liza, and how it responds to both flood and drought and, and, and everything else that's thrown at it. We've come to realise over the years that these natural processes bring huge benefits in terms of water quality. So we have fantastic water quality in the lake here and it's, and it's, no, it's by no accident really that the catchment functions in the way that it does. So not only have we got this dynamic, uh, willful river that pretty much goes where it wants to within its own floodplain, but it's flowing through robust, intact, um, mixed vegetation. The reason, I suppose, that we're attracted to, to reinstating beaver within this system is that they would really thrive within this dynamic um, river valley uh, system. We've got a series of wetlands, offline sort of ponds, I suppose, but also where the river forges new, new ground, um, that will be able to be utilised by the beaver. There's masses of food for them and it just seemed like a really good fit uh, for this valley. You know, we introduced the cattle 16 years ago because we felt there was a missing natural process of large herbivores and the, the results of that have been astounding in terms of woodland regeneration and, and habitat restoration. What we are interested in is seeing how these animals interact at a valley scale and, and really produce, you know, build on those benefits that we're, we're seeing from natural processes. The big forest is one of the big three in Ennerdale the others being the big mountains and the big river, and they all together just make it a special, special valley. The big forest, we have a really big vision for its future as a future natural forest. We've inherited a forest that's full of different species, but it has been a very monoculture of spruce that's dominated, and we're looking to really reduce that dominance and also help nature build in more of the diverse structures you'd expect in a forest. To try and reduce the dominance of spruce, we've been planting other species, native species, uh, typically Scots pine, birch, alder, oak, willow, uh, mostly at the top end of the valley because that's where there's no seed sources for that species. In the middle valley, there's a lot of seed source for birch, but we are still planting oak. And other species we're planting more recently has been aspen because it's very much a missing species from the valley and from the valley bottom. And the aspen uh, are important because they are a missing species, they should be here in a lot of Lake District Valleys, we should have more aspen. But also aspen are a, a very good food source for beavers, so it makes sense to have them there because we are thinking of bringing beavers into the valley. And beavers will just bring a new dynamic to the forest. We've got our cattle going around, doing disturbance, making little niches for seedlings to grow in. But what we don't have is another species that could be in the riparian zone. Where we've got woodland regeneration, but without another species, it might get a bit monoculture again. So beavers will bring in a sort of coppicing rotation that's much more natural by felling trees and, and for feeding on trees. That will generate a, a structure that's much more diverse and dynamic because it will move around as to where the beavers go, not where we decide to go. So that's going to be really exciting. We're looking forward to seeing what that will be like.